number 100. We're so excited. Um, the voice you hear is Kelly. I am the manager of client success here at iGuide. I am holding a camera and shooting Rob Johnston. Rob is our director of business development and we are live on site with you to do our real-time tagging masterclass. We're so excited to uh, jump into this session. We are doing it a little bit different this time. We're doing it not only live as usual, but we're on site to show you exactly what real-time tagging looks like with our expert, our real-time tagging expert. So Rob, take it away. Uh, thank you, Kelly, and thank you to everyone at Planetara behind the scenes making it happen today. Hopefully everyone had no problems joining the session. And as Kelly mentioned, it's our 100th uh, masterclass. Uh, it's our first time doing this on site. Yep. And, it's our, and it's my first one. So three uh, things that we're trying to celebrate today. Yes. So thank you uh, everyone for joining us. And as Kelly mentioned, or what you signed up for, uh, this is a masterclass called Real-Time Tagging. And um, I'm going to show you, it's a brand new feature. Uh, it's a feature, will, a feature that's available to you, anyone with a Planix camera. You can download the uh, firmware upgrade. We'll talk about it, you know, that at the end. But first, we need to, to, to kind of set the scene of why and why we're in this room. So, Kelly, if you just want, want to pan around, this is a maintenance room. We're, where are we today? We're, we're in a condo building, in the maintenance room of a condo building. And um, you can see that this is a very typical environment that our facility managers, property managers, condo managers work in, where they're constantly having to map out where equipment is, uh, the state of that equipment, documentation about that equipment. And you can see right here as an example, kind of a non-digital version of a tag, where somebody's put a, a tag on a piece of equipment or who was looking after it. So tagging at a basic sense is just the ability for a property manager facility manager to go through their, their facility room by room, floor by floor, building by building, and identify important things in that space or things that need to be tracked. Uh, it's very difficult for a lot of these property managers because they change, people leave, people quit, buildings change. A lot of things that you'll see like pieces of paper hanging in the wall, they might get lost or taken home or put in a, a meeting room somewhere. So the ability to track that information is something that we've recently, we've always had the ability to put tags in our, in our environments, in our 3D environments. We've now expanded that capability to do tagging as we go or real time tagging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of different examples. I'm gonna be using my phone. So for those of you who haven't seen any of our products before or new to um, our planet, uh, Planetar technology, this is a, what we call a Planix camera. And this is what we go on site with, or our service people, photographers, real estate people go on site. And it does two things. It captures three, 360 degree pano photos, but it also has a LIDAR component that are fused together. So as we go through a room, it's scaling that room. It's, it's kind of creating an outline of that room, but also creating a 3D environment for us to be able to add tags and information to. So typically, you know, you're going to go through the property, you're going to pick this up. Some people put it on wheels and you're going to go around and capture the information that's important. Now, full disclosure, before I kind of go to the next step, um, I've already done three kind of shots. You can see that there on our survey app. So this app is connected to the camera right now. We've done three stations. I'm going to do one more just to show you what that, what that process is like and then how we can use the current position or what we say the current pano to place a tag, but then also how we can go back into previous panos and place tags. The reason that that functionality is required is every photographer or surveyor or data capture person, they're gonna have their own style and the building is gonna dictate their style in the building and the things to, to document is gonna dictate that style. Some people are gonna to wanna to go through and shoot everything with the camera and then go back through with their phone, capture the things, or some people are gonna do it as they go. So it, we allow both of those options. You also have the third option, which you've always had, is to take pictures on your phone and add it in post. We, we haven't taken that functionality away from you. It's just sometimes it's faster, actually not sometimes, it's always faster to do it in real time 
but there are some things that we want to do in post as well, such as dynamic tags. And I'll talk, talk about that towards the very end. So on our survey app here, you can see we position the camera just in front of the corner, in the corner of the room here. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I want to go take another measurement. Now, yes, this is a marketing shoot and sales. So we will be in this panel, but we'll just um, pretend that we're not right now. I should have waved. Yes. <laughs> So you can see it's processing and what it will do, it will, it's going to take its 360 degree pictures and there you can see it's taken the latest one and automatically aligned that LIDAR data to the previous scan. So those four triangular dots that you're seeing are just the four positions that I've taken. So what we've added that's kind of brand new is up in the top right corner, you'll see a tag. It's the same kind of icon that's in the, um, if you were to add them in post is I'm just gonna go ahead and press that button. And this is again new, this is what we're, we're, what we're showing in this masterclass, this new capability. And you basically have to answer three or four questions. Like what, what do you wanna call this tag? So I'm gonna just look over my shoulder and look at the device and this thing's a Honeywell device. So I'm just gonna pull the phone away for a second and I'm gonna quickly type in Honeywell. There we go. So I just typed it in Honeywell and I'm going to say, I want to use a blue tag here. So then I have a couple options. Do I want to put some text? Maybe I want to manually type in some, some information like the serial number or something. I'm going to be a bit lazy and I'm going to press the photo button. And you'll notice what comes up is I can add photos that I've previously taken or I can take a photo. I'm just going to say, take a photo and using my iPhone here can be a I'm just going to walk up to it. I'm going to go and say, all right, take your shot. So I'm going to just say use photo. And what you'll see there, it's uploaded the photo straight off my phone. And I'm going to hit next. And then I have to do one more thing is I have to place a tag. Like where do I want the tag end up to appear um, in, my, in my shot? So I'm literally just going to double click right on my screen and say, that'll be good enough. That's where the tag's going to be. I press next. And then this is the last step. It's kind of the, this one that we have to explain a little bit. You'll see the first blue circle with the diamond in it. And it's telling me where the camera was. And it's basically, it's done a lot of work in the background to guess where in the scene or what depth that that item might be at. So I, I can change the position of it if necessary. And uh, I'm not going to, cause it got it bang on. And I'm just gonna hit next. And what you'll notice is that if I now kind of just pan around, scroll around, it's now placed a tag in that scene. Now, photos are easy because we're ob obviously capturing the data live, but um, the property manager, the, the customer of ours that, that has now already done this room, they said, well, what about, I don't want a picture, I want a link to a document. So he's gone through and actually scanned all of these documents like the operating manual in case it gets lost. And he says, well, I want to put a tag on that, that if it gets lost, where is it on my Google Drive? Where can I go find it? Or can I view a, a doc or PDF of it? I'm just going to add a second tag. So again, I press the button. And this time I'm going to just put document just for the sake of saving time. I'll put document. And this time I'm going to color code it green. And I don't actually have to do anything. I'm just going to press next. I'm still going to place my tag and I'm going to place it right on the document. Oops, I didn't hit green. I hit blue by accident. But And again, at that point, I, I've now placed a green and a blue one in the scene. Now, the difference is that green one doesn't have anything behind it. Obviously, the blue one does. It has the photo that I've taken, but the green one's just kind of blank. And what I'm going to do in post, meaning once I've got the eye guide produced, I'm going to go back through the scene, back through the 3D environment. I'm going to go to that green, anything that's a green tag, and I'll just put in the URL link to where that scan document is on my Google Share Drive or, or SharePoint Drive, something like that. And that way you've linked, you know, the electronic copies of everything in this room, and there's a lot of them, to everywhere that, where they are in 3D space. So that's kind of a, a real quick intro in, into what we've done so far. And this is what we would say genuinely as, as you go tagging. So as you pick up the camera and go to, and go to an environment and scan it, I just placed it here. Here are the tags relevant to here. 
So if I wanted to do one more, you know, I could go take a picture of that tag over there, but I won't. I want to kind of de demonstrate, you know, an another small thing, which is, well, what about if I forgot to put a tag in on one of the other stations that I've already scanned? So what I, one of the things that you can do, and I'm just going to pan, that as I kind of click this button here, it walks me back through the scans that I've already done. And you can see that I've got one behind me. I, I'll just kind of go from there. You can see that I had four. So I've just kind of pressed the back arrow button. Now I don't have to move the camera or anything. It doesn't have to go anywhere with me. It's already collected the data. But what I'm able to do is go back in previous scan. So I could do this whole, shoot the whole room first and then go back through the, through, through the property again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally walk over to the device. You can see me come in here and I'm just going to press, I want to place a new tag. And again, I'm going to call this, this time I'm going to call it smart. And I'm going to go blue, take a photo, take a photo. Again, just kind of come in here, do that. So I've take, I've captured my asset in a way. Hit use photo. Next, where do I want that to appear? I'll just put right, right in the middle of the screen there. And again, where is the depth? So you can slide where you want that tag to appear in 3D space. I'll just leave it there and boom. We, that quickly, we've gone through the property or this room and put in three tags. So again, both styles, you can do it live, you can do it real time as you go, or you can go back through and do it again. One of the really nice features that, that the developers have added is that all of these now assets, these photos, everything, still go into the same project that you're used to using. So when you want to take this project now and, and go into uh, post-processing, you want to do this, all of that data goes with you. You have one file to manage. And that one file then gets uploaded into the iGUIDE portal. Once we've drafted it or just produced the 3D tour for you, all of these tags will be geolocated because we've scanned the property and have a scale or scanned the room, we've got a scale, we've got an outline, we've got a draft of the room. We know exactly where that is in, in this space. So if I had three or four maintenance buildings below me or beside me, I'm geotagging it and I don't have to go through it again. We know where all those tags are. So that's a real quick overview. Now let's talk about some of the other things. Uh, we have an API associated with this product. So if you wanted to go in and create your own interface on survey to create your own um, tools for going and capturing properties, you can add the real-time tagging. The real-time tagging is part of that API. You can actually go in and start to query the, those tags in, that, in the 2D map or in the 3D space as well. In the three examples that we've done, which was just a document and two electronic devices, I call that static data. They're just pictures or a document. In the FM space, you know, here we are in a mechanical room. We got lots of data being produced. The next level of this is, is called IoT data. Or what about if this device actually was serving it up onto the web and I could put that information right inside my tag? So at the recent Baltimore NFMT show, we had a partner, Vitality IO, and we have some really cool sample properties that when you have a device like this that's feeding data up to the server, we can link to that URL. It's very easy to do. You link that URL to this tag. And from that point on, when you're going through a property, you might want to color code them all orange or whatever. And that way, if something goes off, an alert goes off, you can get that URL from that sampling device and go right to the panel, right to the room, the building, the panel that was used and know exactly where that piece of equipment is in your facility. Pick up the phone or send a text and say, hey, Mr. Maintenance guy, you need to go here. We're getting an alert, there's something wrong. So in the absence of putting webcams everywhere, real-time tagging and putting that information in your, in your um, iGUIDE properties I guide rooms, and then putting the smarts behind it like IoT devices, you're able to not just have information, but have smart information. And if one of these documents gets lost or somebody accidentally misplaces it, whatever, you've now got a digital record of it, what equipment it belonged to, who can access it, 
uh, maybe an Excel sheet for, for maintenance people. We're also working on, uh, in that same dynamic tagging, you can link to CMS uh, programs. So if there was a work order affiliated with uh, someone regular maintaining this equipment, you can have them come in and, and facilitate that on the CMMS side as well. So that kind of concludes our overview today of what real-time tagging is. It's a really cool new feature, whether you're in residential real estate, commercial real estate, facilities management, insurance. So there's lots of great applications on the insurance side that as you're walking through a property, you want to capture things, uh, capture damage, capture whatever it is. Just be able to do that and really save that time in post and capture it live. You know, data is always fresher and more realistic live. And just be able to capture that in one process. And you know when you leave your facility, you've got everything wrapped up. This product is available to you today. It's, it's released. It's ready to go. And we hope you're as excited about it as we are. So, so thank you for all joining us. And if you have any questions, we'll take them now. I don't think we're taking any questions at the moment. So I think we're going to conclude for today. Should we have, do have a couple of questions. Um, so I see a bunch of um, messages live. Again, thank you guys for, um, for those who have joined us who are brand new and for those who have joined us for the very first time, um, especially considering this is a new platform we're using today because we are doing it live. Thank you, Corey. I see that you say, you know, everything's working great. I appreciate the feedback. We always want to make sure that it is, um, you know, you can hear us and you can see us okay. There is quite a bit of background noise, of course, because we are live. This isn't a test. This isn't a, a staged place. This is real life. Um, so thank you for that feedback. We, this is recorded. So we are going to share this with you guys. Um, for It will be available on our website. And for anybody who did sign up using um, Rob's link, we can send this to you directly. Um, but And then if you have any follow-up questions, maybe we can include information for Rob um, to answer any questions after the fact, or you can always reach out to our support team. Our product support team is always happy to help. You can create a support ticket through our support desk, which is support.youreyeguide.com, and we're happy to help you there. Um, this was a very, very fun, adventurous 100th masterclass, um, and we look forward to seeing you in two weeks for our next session. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.